Hey, this is Alith from CreatorWebsiteKit.com. In this video, I want to show you how to add an upcoming events calendar to your WordPress um, sidebar or to any widget area. What we're going to do is we're going to use the um, Google Calendar and we're going to embed that Google Calendar onto your website using the Google Calendar Events plugin by Ross Haney. So first thing we want to do, I'm already logged into the WordPress admin area. Uh, we want to go over to plugins and add new. And once we're here, we want to search for Google Calendar Events. Click search plugins. And now the first one that pops up, Google Calendar Events, click install now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? Click OK. Once the plugin is finished installing, click activate plugin. And once it's installed, you're back on the plugin page and you'll see um, where you see the Google Calendar Events, click settings. And now we're at the point where we're ready to add our Google Calendar feed. Okay. But before we can add that feed, we have to actually go to our Google Calendar and get that information. So I'm going to pause this for one moment while I get that pulled up. Okay. So I'm at the Google Calendar that I want to add to the site. And the first thing we want to do. We want to find the calendar we want to add. Okay, click on the little arrow beside that calendar. Select calendar settings. And once you do that, it's going to come up with calendar details up. We want to go to share this calendar first because we have to make sure that the calendar is public. So where it says make this calendar public, you want to put a check in that box. Leave the box that says share only my free busy information. Leave that box blank. Click save. And then it'll take you back to your calendar. Once you're there, you want to click on the little arrow beside the calendar again. Go down to calendar settings. Click on that and you want to under the calendar details you want to scroll all the way down till you get to calendar address in the calendar address section you want to click the XML button click that button and then you'll get a pop-up box a little light box that pops up and you want to copy the feed address copy the feed address and then we're going to go back to WordPress. Okay, so here we're going to click. We're back in the WordPress admin area in the back of WordPress. Click on Add Feed. And we have to give our feed a title. So I'm going to say Upcoming Walker Events. And then where it says Feed URL, we're going to paste our feed into the field for our feed URL and retrieve events from I'm just gonna leave this set to today but you do have other options um, retrieve events and tell how long do you want to do this okay um, end of time specific date and time end of current month um, let's just say uh, the end of time a maximum number of, of events retrieved how many events do you want um, wanted to return um <clears throat> then the date format if you leave this blank it'll display your date exactly how you have WordPress um, configured to display your dates already um, if you leave the time format blank it'll format your time the exact way you already have your time formatted um, in your WordPress general settings time zone adjustment we can just leave that um, default which will default to what you have WordPress set to or you can change it to your specific um, 
time zone well the city for your specific time zone it's up to you okay I'm just gonna leave that to default and then cash duration how long do you want it to be in between um, the time where um, the plugin actually updates the calendar so if you set your cash if you leave it at the 43,200 that's every 12 hours your calendar on your website will be updated if you have updates on your actual Google Calendar okay um, so you determine how often you want your calendar to update if you know you're gonna be changing your calendar a lot you may wanna have it update more often and then you wanna decide if you want multiple day events to show up on every single day it's gonna occur or just the first day of the event you have to decide I'm gonna make it uh, so that it'll show the event on every day it's gonna happen not just the first day then your display options how do you want to determine how to display it you can use the event builder display builder which that's the most flexible way um, here's the event builder display and you can put in HTML and the short codes that are listed below to decide how you um, want it to show on your website okay so this is here if you want to use it um, also there's simple display options if you want you can play with that click add feed now we have our first um, Google Calendar feed added you can add multiple feeds um, if you want but I'm just gonna do one and then you have some other options some general options for instance um, where are you gonna put your CSS stylings for the plugin like if you want to change the way it looks on the front end of your site you want to change some of the CSS you have to tell the plugin where the style sheet is located um, you can tell it to add the JavaScript to the footer and then you can tell it okay I want it to say loading when it's trying to load the data from for the calendar um, if there's an error here's the message type in whatever message you wanted to show if there's an error or no events are returned um, optimize event retrieval I delete that check use old styles don't have to worry about that because this is the first time I'm using the plugin so I'm gonna click save okay now it's time to actually add the plugin to a widget area so I'm gonna go to appearance and widgets now let's get rid of some of this junk here delete this delete this okay alright now I am going to add my Google Calendar Events widget so find Google Calendar Events widget drag click on it and drag it to uh, wherever you want to whatever whichever widget area you want to add it to so give it a title I am going to give it a title of um, upcoming events okay now it wants to know okay what feeds do you want because remember I showed you where you can have multiple um, Google Calendar feeds you can add as many feeds as you want and it wants to know okay which ones do you want in this calendar well since I only have one Google Calendar feed I'm not gonna put anything there uh, next option display events as calendar grid calendar grid with Ajax list list group by date I'm just gonna leave it at calendar grid uh, maximum number of events to display um, sort order this is really for just list if you're gonna list the events um, do you want to display the title on the tooltip list item and you decide and save it okay so we have our widget Google Calendar Events widget set up. Now let's go and take a look at it on the front of the site. Visit site. All right, and there's our Google Calendar. You notice here it says upcoming events. That's what I told it to call to um, have the title. Um, this is June, 
And when you hover over the days with Vince, it shows you events on June 19th. Um, the, what the name of the event is, the start time, the end time, and you can click to actually go to all the details of the um, calendar entry. Okay, and you can also um, you notice how the calendar here is gray. You can add CSS to change the way this calendar looks. Let's say you want to change the color of the um, the grid for the table you can change that if you want to change the um, the colors of maybe the sales for um, the days that actually um, don't have any events or maybe you want to change the sales for the days you do have events and remember you want to put that in an external style sheet one that's not with the plugin all right, so there you have it. We've I showed you how to add your upcoming events calendar to your website. Um, let me just do a real quick recap with you. First, you make your Google Calendar public. Copy the XML version or the feed of the calendar address. Um, save that because you're going to need that. Then you install the Google Calendar Events plugin by Ross Haney. Um, you know, the plugin can be installed before you do the first two steps. The order of the first three, not very important, but um, you have to do those three before you can add your Google Calendar feed to the plugin settings. Then adjust the plugin settings. And then you want to add the Google Calendar Events widget to your desired um, widget area. Thanks for watching. And if this video was helpful to you, take the time, click the like button, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.